Hello boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be using pictures and base 10 blocks to represent multiplication problems. So you can use pictures and base 10 blocks to represent a multiplication problem. Do, this helps learners understand the concepts behind multiplication and prepares them for multiplication without pictures. I will say this is a very timely process, so it's not the most ideal. We want to get past the stage, but this is the beginning basic stage to help us understand what's happening when we're multiplying a multi-digit number. So let's look at what we need to know. When we're using pictures, we have different representations for each place value. So our ones are represented by a circle. Our tens are represented by a line. Our hundreds are represented by a square. And our thousands are rep represented by a square with a T inside so that we know that it's a thousand, not a 100. Okay, so if we had a problem three times 453, this is a one digit multiplication times a three digit factor. So we're going to start by breaking up this three-digit factor and representing it using base 10 blocks. So we're going to start with our hundreds place first. So we have four hundreds, so I would draw four squares. Then I'm going to move to my tens place. I have five tens, so I need five lines. And in my ones place, I have three ones, so I need three circles. So this picture represents 453. Now, my problem says that I'm going to have three groups of 453. So if I have three groups, I'm going to have to repeat this picture two more times. So I will have a total of three groups. So now I have a picture that represents three groups of 453, or three times 453. So now that my picture is complete, I'm going to start by uh, um, counting up all of my ones place first. So I'm going to put a circle around my ones, and I see that I have nine ones. So I'm going to write a nine in the ones place. Remember, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you write your number off to the side, starting on the right-hand side, making sure that there's room for the digits that will go in front or to the left of that ones place. Okay, so now we're done with our ones, so we're going to move to our tens. I'm going to be trying to find groups of ten. I see that I have more than ten tens, so I'm going to circle ten of those tens. And those ten tens, if you recall from our place value knowledge, ten tens is the same as one hundred. So those ten tens are going to get regrouped, and instead of counting as tens, they're going to now count as hundreds. Then I'm going to see how many tens are left. I see I have five tens left, so those five tens are going to go into my tens place. Now I'm going to do the same thing in the hundreds place. I'm going to see if I can make a group of ten. I see I have more than ten, so I'm going to circle ten, and ten tens is the same as one thousand. So I'm going to regroup those ten tens into the thousands. Then I'm going to see how many hundreds are left. So now I have three hundreds left. So I'm going to write a three in my hundreds place. Now I can't forget about my thousands. I have to include my 1,000 into my answer. So my final answer of three times 453 is equal to 1,359. And that's represented in this picture. So just to recap. You can use pictures and base 10 blocks to represent a multiplication problem. You can do this by first drawing a picture of the multi-digit factor using ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Then repeat the same picture according to the factor that you're multiplying by. Finally, count the base 10 blocks starting in the ones place and regroup if you get 10. And once you have counted all of the base 10 blocks, you will have your final product. Again, this is not the quickest way to do it, but it is a solution to solving a multiplication problem with one digit factor times a multi-digit factor. I hope that you found this video helpful. Click below or click like below if you found it helpful. And also subscribe for more math lessons at mathmaniac-4thgrademath. Bye.